Bible says in, uh, in Hebrews chapter 10 and verse number 25 that we should not actually forsake assembling together, more especially men. Women are good at this. They can meet and uh, talk their things and support each other. And that's why you look at women, they live longer than men. But as men, sometimes we are, uh, we are so p busy to an extent that uh, even when somebody has a challenge, they keep it to themselves and uh, most of them sink into depression. They die prematurely, leaving widows behind. But as a church, we thought of uh, having such a forums where we can come actually for fellowship, where we can actually come also and, be, and talk about very many issues, about finances, about family matters, uh, and uh, about how to finish well. Because sometimes there are some men, they don't actually finish well. That is the reason behind this meeting. And the purpose also is that when we come together like that, we have programs that are tailored to helping men to actually be holistic leaders, leaders that actually uh, have grown in, ev in the four dimensions of life, intellectually, uh, family, and also they are assisted on how they can live their lives about things to do with the you know, diet, how to eat, to eat well, and uh, also we challenge one another in matters to do with faith. That the way forward is that I want to challenge us in Deliverance Church Kapenguria, and also men, generally wherever they are, men don't just live in isolation. Sometimes the devil is a liar, and that's why men die prematurely. There are many widows than a widow us. It's because men, and sometimes men also get stuck. They stagnate in life because sometimes when they have challenges, they keep it to themselves. And men, I want to challenge you that you, you are actually, you don't belong to yourself. You belong to God. You also belong to the community and you belong to one another. There's power when men come together. When you have a challenge, share with them. There, there, could have, there might have been somebody in, in, in the fellowship who has gone through what you went through, or they actually experience it before you. So when you share with them, they will actually help you to avoid uh, some pitfalls. And uh, we just had our, our men luncheon that we normally have uh, uh, every last Saturday, uh, Sunday of the month. And the purpose for this meeting is to bring men together. These men have a, have a structure, a leadership structure. And as a lead pastor, most, some of these things I don't know. Because I, they come, they do it. I am a leader who believes in delegation. So the men department do their own thing. That can actually best be answered by the, 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 the men coordinator or chairperson. When we come for a forum like this, we have a, a specific topic we are, we are going to handle. Like for this time round, I think uh, there, was a small, there was a small devotion which was actually to cater for spiritual matters. And then uh, what we talked about so much this time around, it was about uh, uh, how you can grow. We can grow economically, grow financially. You see, this time around was very sweet. You can, you can see I am actually I'm, I'm, I'm rejoicing and celebrating. It was wonderful. Those who this is our way of life. This is an initiative of the main department from Deliverance Church, Kapenguria. And it is centered on on the pillar, our, we have five pillars of faith. We call, we call it the five, the five Fs. Faith, we talk about finance, we talk about fellowship, we talk about um, finishing well. All this we are targeting men. So it's, a, it's part of that. Now, on all these fivefold Fs, there is where a man falls. There is man and his faith. There is man and fellowship, there is man and finance, there is man and finishing well. So this event is trying to develop a holistic man. And it is not uh, only for Deliverance Church Kapenguria. We, the larger West Pokot, all men are invited because we are looking for an holistic leader. We are actually led by it's biblical Jesus. Actually our theme is Luke 2.52. That Jesus grew in wisdom, he grew in stature, he grew in favor with God and men. So this day that we have put is a series. We will be doing this on a monthly basis where we discuss different topics that affect men. And for the day has been a success. We, you know, they say the way to a man's heart is through food. 
So we have just taken that and uh, run with it. And today was a very big success. We have had people from other churches joining us. We had a very speaker who is well-rounded in that area. It was a great success. Even in just in society, men uh, are less than women. In fact, men are dying earlier than the women. So we have realized women speak a lot about their issues. But for the men, we try to be... We, we, we keep to ourselves. So this is one of the ways in which men can come out. You could be going through an issue, okay, a financial issue, a marital issue, that another man has gone through. So it's through the, such forums that we're able to share and say, look, my friend, these things happen to fellow men. I had A, B, C, D, and I was able to navigate it. So it's a forum that brings men together so that they're able to share, so that men don't die at the rate at which they're dying. The rate at which men are committing suicide is very high. So we are trying to look at that. And it's not only a deliverance Kapenguria issue, this is the world over. So it's one of our way that we are contributing to society by men sharing their issues. See, you know, we are in West Pokot, so Mbuzi is uh, a delicacy here, but there is nothing stopping us from doing ngombe, yeah, we, we can do kuku, but it's just a way of just food. But again, when you're having a meeting through food, you're able to discuss issues freely. You know, we were actually moving even to small groups. And you could see from the response of the speaker, people have a lot of issues. In fact, people are asking for more. So through such forums is where you're able to, to do that. And even to be able to pull even men to, to the churches. Uh, a lot of our men are not... You'll agree with me even in this country. Not attending churches, eh? You'll get people in more entertainment joints and not in church. What is there in the entertainment job? It's, yeah, Buzichoma. So why can't we bring Buzichoma in the church setting? So that's part of our reasoning, yeah? What they can do, in church we can do it better. We are discussing about investment and financial management. And we were very picky in our speaker for the day, yeah? We want somebody that we picked on a person that came from a very humble beginning to be a very successful businessman that he is. And we, we are very keen. In fact, the guy we picked today doesn't come from Deliverance Church, but is a member of the society in West Pokot. So at least it was very significant. We have gotten feedback from the men that it was successful. And we intend to, to bring quite a number of speakers, depending on what is relevant for the day. But for today, we were on financial management and investment. Actually, we have a date as men now in Deliverance Church, Kapenguria. Every first Saturday uh, of the month, we dedicate it for prayer. Now, every first Sunday then becomes our Mbuzi Choma or where men get together. That uh, flexibility, we must be able to change with time. If you don't change, then change will change you. You have to know that the businesses which were flourishing the other day have collapsed because of the new inventions. People refuse to change. So I may not want to give examples, but what I want to say is that we can go far if we, our integrity is high and we can grow as a country and move even further. So other aspects of honesty, be honest with your finances, be honest with your family, be honest with what you say so that tomorrow, if you are asked, you can be able to remember. If you keep lying, li lies will catch up with you. Liars never last long. Lies will come catch up with you. There are many other small aspects we mentioned. Positively, I say the world is full of challenges. There is a crisis of uh, teenage uh, parenting, parenting of our teenage, teenagers. Parenting has become a problem because there is a revolution in the house from every corner. So unless you are honest, you have to stick to your guards and also tell them to learn how to absorb the shocks of negative media, which is too generous with uh, unfamiliar things in our country. So we must remain the way we are. Finally, I also want, and we talked about where you start from does not determine you are how you will end. You can start from very low and tomorrow you can 
go to the highest level where you never expected. Who knew I would come here and be given this privilege among this kind of fraternity? I have to thank the Deliverance Church fraternity for the organization, the chairman, and the entire team for having given me this privilege, inaugural privilege to launch this kind of uh, facility. Uh, personally, I want to take this opportunity to say that uh, I attended this function that was organized by the Deliverance Church. It was about uh, supporting men on the mental issue. And uh, for me, I've learned a lot of things. Uh, as you understand that uh, men have been going through a lot, there's this tendency that men hide issues uh, leading to depression and so forth. But uh, for today, we've learned a lot of things that we need to open up and to learn things apart from mental issues, also on the financial uh, point of view, on the saving point of view. And for me, I would like to encourage all the men, let us come up, let us uh, speak out, let us not hide anything about ourselves. And if you check, uh, most men are killing themselves due to depression because of hiding stories, going al through a lot of things. So for me, I will urge men to come in numbers for the next meeting so that we can share, understand our weaknesses from each other, our weak points, uh, our strength and so forth. To men who hide their issues leading to depression is that uh, there's no second life. You only live once and for us to live this one life is to open up and share our problems. Uh, as they say, sharing is caring and uh, sharing is a half solved. Aside, we, I, I can say that the Mbuzi was nice and uh, I think this should be taken as a theme also for the, for the function, uh, for other men. You know, most people fear, but if they know that everything is there, like food and so forth, they will come. But the Deliverance Fraternity for organizing such an important function.